Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, dropping like flies, another Cirrus Vision jet down. FAA publishes draft rule to include powered lift under air carrier depths. EAA promotes safer EAB operations, but it could still improve. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Another Cirrus Vision Jet down. With increasing frequency, the record of the Cirrus Vision Jet becomes all the more questionable. Friday morning, a Cirrus Vision Jet November 15 Victor Juliet went down shortly after takeoff from the Indianapolis Regional Airport. The pilot's course of action took place early in the flight and barely a mile off the end of runway 25. Video of the late 2020 aircraft under the canopy showed up swiftly on social media, and in one, there seems to be a smoky trail above and behind the aircraft that might point to power plant issues. The Hancock County Sheriff's Office reported that the pilot blamed engine problems for the chute deployment. The aircraft's path terminated in a small pond off Indianapolis's Mount Comfort Road. Titled II Chrome Vision Jet of Lewis, Delaware, November 15 Victor Juliet was on its way to Greensboro Green County Regional Airport in Georgia. Flight tracking software suggests the aircraft only gained 1,400 feet or so before what appeared to be a clean parachute deployment and a good unreefed configuration thereafter. Local reports suggest that there were no injuries and it appears that the aircraft is actively involved in commercial operations. This latest accident is one of an increasing number of hull losses since the aircraft entered service. And after the break, more regulations on the horizon, NTSB Chair eyes niche commercial operations. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. NTSB Chair Eyes Niche Commercial Operations. A recent statement supporting additional regulation by NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy might chart the course for incoming rulemaking if the FAA listens. Homendy referenced an NTSB report pushing for additional oversight and regulation over a number of niche passenger operations. Under an investigation regarding what the board calls Part 119 Exploited Activity, the NTSB collated a number of off-the-wall flight operations that it believes require some additional rulemaking to end. Activities like parachute jump flights, commercial glider sightseeing flights, or aerial photography flights as tourist journeys all incurred previous investigations. Mars Ingenuity Flight 34 was short but significant. Ingenuity Flight 34 may not be a standout. Even shorter than Ingenuity's first flight, Tuesday's successful 18-second flight simply popped up to a little over 16 feet, hovered, then landed. Over the past few weeks, the operations team has been at work installing a major software update aboard the helicopter. This update provides Ingenuity two major capabilities, hazard avoidance when landing and the use of digital elevation maps to help navigate. No holiday for USCG MH6 TJ Hawk. No holiday rest for the Coast Guard as they rescued a cruise ship passenger Thursday evening near Southwest Pass, Louisiana. Watchstanders received a call from the Carnival Valor at approximately 2.30 p.m. reporting a passenger aboard the cruise ship was missing. At 8.25 p.m., a CGAS New Orleans MH-60 Jayhawk aircrew rescued the 28-year-old male who had fallen overboard Wednesday evening. 
The air crew was vectored into the area by a bolt carrier who had observed a person in the water. ASA releases Air Classic's Push to Talk switch. ASA has released a push to talk switch for GA. The switch replaces the oftentimes finicky and easily broken little red button frequently found throughout the GA fleet, providing owners with a contoured, low profile switch for their radio needs. The button's lead flows into a coiled cable for use with any two plug comm device, allowing for easy, simple installation, i.e., plugging it in with no fuss. The PTT switch allows for a snag free position on the yoke with plenty of extra cable for freedom of movement. And that's it for today's trip around the patch, let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA publishes draft rule to include powered lift under air carrier depths. The FAA has published a draft regarding an update to air carrier definitions that would add all powered lift to existing definitions. The draft says that the rule is a quote, important step in the FAA's integration of new entrant aircraft in the national airspace system, end quote, paving the way for the expected wave of eVTOL aircraft on the way. The upcoming slate of electric or hybrid multirotor aircraft is expected to begin entry into commercial service by decade's end, with most manufacturers hard at work developing their aircraft for certification within the next three to five years. The onslaught of multiple new makes and models all offering point-to-point -point air taxi services outside the traditional aeronautical ecosystem makes for a daunting regulatory challenge for the administration. Adding an entirely new swath of possibilities heretofore unseen in traditional fixed and rotary wing aircraft. In addition to housekeeping, the FAA also proposed updates to a handful of basic requirements regarding carrier oversight, probably aiming to establish a level of aeronautical competency for the unorthodox aircraft operators. Aviation is a far different industry from what fast-moving, easygoing tech company executives are accustomed to, after all. In any case, the rule change will amend the qualification requirements to ensure management of air carriers have, quote, appropriate experience in powered lift operations, end quote. And after these messages, EAA promotes safer EAB operations, but it could still improve. You know, as we look back on 2022, it has been quite a year. We hope you had a chance to participate in the good times and learn and fly and expand your horizons. To wind up the year and celebrate the holidays, we're going to share a 22% discount with you on any King Schools course. Just use the code word GRAVY at checkout or when you call us. Let's have a great Thanksgiving week. And a happy holiday season. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. EAA promotes safer EAB operations, but it could still improve. Fatal amateur-built aircraft accidents remained under the historic average over the 12-month period ending in September 2022, but EAA notes that an uptick over the previous year's total shows that focused efforts to enhance safety even further remain essential. For the fiscal year ending September 30, 2022, the FAA reported there were 56 fatal accidents in experimental category aircraft over the preceding 12 months, including 39 in amateur-built aircraft. That compares to 42 total accidents, 33 in amateur-built aircraft, during the 12-month period between October 2020 and September 2021. Quote, the fatal accident totals for both amateur built and experimental aircraft overall remain 30 to 35% below where they were just a decade ago, including when looking at the three-year rolling average on which the FAA bases its annual not to exceed number. While that's good news, we never want to see an annual increase in the totals. That's a reminder that we all must continue to work to make safety the top priority, even with the small numbers we see each year, end quote, said Sean Elliott, EAA's Vice President of Advocacy and Safety. 
The higher accident totals in experimental category aircraft mirror an increase for all of general aviation over the same 12-month period. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!